Beautiful Capricorns, welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for this week, February 17th, guys. We're going into Mercury retrograde in Pisces. Slow and steady, process everything, triple check, think twice, speak once. You know, typical, I know everyone's like, oh, Mercury retrograde. And yeah, while it does have its ups and downs, there's a lot of great benefits to going back and reviewing and processing things that perhaps can be sabotaging us or not allowing us to live our best life. So allow those things to come up and make space for it, Caps. Now, this is for your sun, moon, or rising, Caps. So make sure you check all three. And if this is your first time watching me, thank you so much. If this resonates with you or serves you in any way, please like, subscribe, comment down below. I really do appreciate it. Ooh, goodness, right out the gate. So let's just take a deep breath in. And let's get started. for this week, February 17th. One more. Damn, okay, caps. A lot of major arcanas, change your life, the fool in traditional tarot, page of wands, page of coins, the decision card, and the chariot. And anybody that's familiar with tarot know that there's only 20 major arcanas in a deck of 78. So they're not common, but when they come up, they're talking to you, and they're, com they're talking a lot about your soul evolution. We all elected to learn certain things to serve in some way, to grow and expand in consciousness in some way. So when a major arcana comes up, this is not just like some willy-nilly thing. This is some deeper much more spiritually spiritual evolution that you're going to be going through and regardless you're going to go through it anyway so let's jump right into it change your life and the leap of faith card capricorn there has been something i mean you guys have been doing so good but there's been something that's come up that's coming up to be reviewed in order for you to stop procrastinating make healthy changes because somewhere in your life you recognize this isn't working this isn't healthy it's the elephant in the room but i'm gonna still keep going i'm doing good maybe i don't have to work on that subconscious belief maybe i don't have to work on that trauma Ooh, things as long as nothing changes i'm gonna be okay mm, well change is the only constant and you're gonna be embarking on an incredible new journey caps when you have the change your life card this is whatever is coming up that's pushing you driving you encouraging you or sometimes feels like forcing you to change it's so that you can embrace the happiness, the joy, and the opportunities that you're actually seeking. It's going to push you to stop procrastinating because you don't have a choice. It's worse to stay in the discomfort and you recognize like, all right, I got to do something about this. I got to change this. And, and honestly, when you embrace these opportunities for healing, for growth, you're going to be so much happier. It kind of reminds me of that one video on YouTube where the little kid is holding onto the rope and he's in the water and he's screaming and he's crying and he's screaming. And everyone's like, just put your feet down. He's like, no. And then he puts his feet down and he stands up and he realizes the water was not deep at all. Like that. Things feel out of whack. It might feel shitty, insecure, not sure what's going to happen. Don't feel comfortable. But when you actually do the work and make the changes and step out of your comfort zone, you're going to be like, oh, that's so much better. I was really scared. This was going to be really hard or really deep. And no, yes, it's true when you have the fool, you're embarking on this new journey. And it's true, you're not going to know all the steps. And it's true, you're not going to know what to expect. But the universe blesses those who, who move, who jump, who, who take that risk. And you're going to be blessed in that way. You just have to believe in yourself. Now, you have two pages, the page of wands and the page of coins. So number one, right now is about really following your gut, following your passion, what you know is right. You don't have to overthink things, just move. Like, ah, fire burns, not gonna touch it, gonna go this way, or this is uncomfortable. This is really about trusting yourself, being prepared for the growth. Pages are people who are in, are in learning periods. You, it's kind of like when you're the, um, you have, you're the mentee, you're being honed and trained, and when you have the page of coins, it's about learning. Now, some of you Capricorns are literally going to be going back to school, training, certifications. It's time for growth. It's time to practice trusting yourself. It's kind of like an internship, right? You did the school and now you're really putting it into work or you're gaining more knowledge. You're applying it and you really are kind of like touch and go. Did it work? What didn't, you know, what worked, what didn't work and be prepared for, for anything. And when I say that, don't be like, Ooh, no, like when you, when you train and you hone and you go back to the drawing board and you really take the time to get to work, 
Yeah, you're gonna, it's learning curves, right? Anything new is gonna have a learning curve. So you might stumble, but you're not gonna fall. You just go, oh, not gonna go that way, gonna go this way. Now you have the decision card. You guys, you, you gotta get out of this limbo state because the more we resist change, growth, healing, looking at what we don't, and when I say looking at what we don't, things like death, things like illness, things like the ends of relationships, you know, our own potential. Those are really scary for a lot of us because it's the unknown. It's something that we feel terrified of because we have no control over. But the universe is saying what you fear, it's in your head. And yes, it can feel very real. And yeah, it's part of life. It doesn't make anything easier. But it's saying you're holding yourself back because you don't have faith, confidence in yourself, confidence knowing that I'm going to be okay, that I'm worth it, that I deserve it, that I, that I deserve people to value me in circumstances that love me back. And when you stay in this limbo, it can be kind of really toxic to your body. So a lot of Capricorns out there, you might need to do a lot of cleansing, release work. So I, when I say cleansing, juice cleanses, water cleanses, meditation, chakra clearing, prayer, sea salt baths. You need to release all this buildup. The chariot. Like I said, guys, you're meant to be moving forward right now. Not with the chariot. Traditionally, it's about career advancement. But it's anything that's forward and up. It does require discipline, dedication to yourself. Now, like I said, some of you guys might be going through training, school, additional work to kind of move forward in your careers. Maybe where you're at, you're not being valued again. You're not, you know, you're not being supported and you're like, you know what? Screw this. I'm tired of not being valued. I'm tired of not being heard. I'm tired of being verbally abused, emotionally taken advantage of, whether it's from my peers, my work, other people in my life, like F that. This is, this is it. And you kind of, you know, it's not about the hustle and the struggle. You know, it's about you working smarter, not harder. You don't have to accept any of this. Universe is like, go back to school, go back to training, learn what you can. Because it's also just about learning about yourself as well. Go after what you want. We're supposed to be moving forward from this lesson. This, things are happening not to punish you, but to push you, to motivate you. Whenever you have a feeling like you shouldn't, like I shouldn't be in this relationship, I shouldn't stay in this job, but you do it because it's comfortable and it's better than change. Oh, things are going to get a lot more uncomfortable, a lot worse, not to punish you, but to make you move. You know, it's like, come on, like, come on, put you between a rock and a hard place. And this week, guys, epiphanies, growth, release, movement, steps, learning, and just boom, this is an incredible week. You're embarking on an amazing journey. When you have to change your life, cry. this is about incredible new journeys that that offer happiness and opportunities and love. And yeah, it's kind of nervous, nerve wracking. It kind of reminds me like the Hobbit, you know, of course, what a nerd. I'm using such a, such a, I love, I love it. I love the Hobbit, but you don't know what it's an adventure, but you do know where you're at and what's happening. No bueno. So enough. And you're like, fuck this. You know, I'm, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to stop procrastinating. I'm going to make these changes. I'm going to go to therapy. I'm going to get that health insurance. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to apply for that job. I'm going to say no to these unhealthy relationships. Boom. This is incredible, guys. And with this Mercury retrograde, it really does. It's in Pisces, right? So it's really having all these emotions. And emotions are fears and anger and all this latent stuff to be reviewed and processed, reframed, released. Capricorn, this is a beautiful week. I hope this serves you. If you like a healing session, a release session, a more in-depth reading, my link will be down below. Otherwise, I hope you have an incredible week. And I will see you guys next week for next week's readings.